Bro, that, that's a that's a wild name to name a road, bro. It's like it's not it's not a back road we could take instead of the death <laughs> road. We we good with back roads. Hey, a hundred percent. Child, I will get out and walk. Okay, I am not driving See, on that. The sun gonna fall before you get where you going. Well, baby, we just ain't gonna go. Because that's not the one. No, ain't no railing. No. Like you can look at this curve right here. This dip, this steep spot. Ain't no railing on mm -mm. that. Not gonna do it. What's good, y'all? It's the Dumachettes, React, and, and we're back, back with, with another, another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American Reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell, because we're, we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. But let's focus on ranking only the 12 independent South American countries from best to worst in this video. 1. Uruguay Uruguay is considered the best country in South America. It's generally held as the safest place in South America. You will agree no less when you consider its laid-back atmosphere. Montevideo, the capital city of Uruguay, is often associated with the Western European cafe culture. Uruguayans generally have a high standard of living as the government is doing its best to reciprocate the goodwill it's enjoying. Good Note stuff. also that natural disasters are not a threat to the Uruguayans. This one advantage is enough to make it the best country in South America. It also has the best of many tourist attractions on the continent while the people are quite friendly. Hold on now. I could, hey, Chile. I could work with that. Not a lot of natural disasters. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about your home's still good. No pipes getting frozen or busted because of the winter. Mm -hmm. um, it's not over the heat. No earthquake. I can deal with no natural disasters, bro. Yeah. I really haven't heard much about Uruguay. Other than that video we uh, reacted to. It was like, mm -hmm. hold up now. Mm -hmm. But y'all came in the comment section and y'all was like, no, nah, it's not really like that. And it's always good to hear from the people who are actually there. Now we say that a lot. You we know? do. We do. So that's good to know about Europe. Right, let's see what little Chile got going on. Chile, the second best country in South America on our list, Ooh, has certain nice. things in common with Uruguay, the very best country. Chile ranks high in safety globally. It hasn't been ranked outside the top safest 30 countries in the world. Natural disasters are uncommon here. The cost of living in Chile is low for its high standard of living. This is probably because Chile has the strongest economy on the continent. This economic strength is partly responsible for the very low crime rate in the country, and Chile is the least corrupt in that region. Okay, okay. In South America, Chile has the lowest poverty level. I like it. Three, okay. Okay. Argentina. Oh, Argentina is among the top best countries in South America. As one of the southern countries, most of the South American features in Argentina are in moderation. But wow, for safety, it ranks a lot higher than nine other countries. While you may hear of dengue fever, especially in places like Salta, the healthcare mm, system okay. in Argentina is excellent. It is free for every Argentine and tourists that fall sick while visiting the country. Wait, the country on. hasn't experienced <laughs> any political turmoil in recent times, despite its economic challenges. The ch we ain't just gonna glaze over that. Dengue fever, he called it? Yes, it is. Dengue about fever. Tourists gonna get sick. Wait, what? So you what? gotta wear a mask or something? That's not like because the fever is contagious. You know, you can get I've never sick. heard of that before. Never heard of it either. Hmm. That ain't, that's not something you put in the video. Mm. I'm loving, like, the scenery. Yeah, 100%. But he talk about just in case tourists get sick. Why are we getting sick? Okay, y'all let us know because we ain't never heard about no dengue fever. You heard about dengue fever before? Nah, not no dengue fever. Like, would y'all take flu shots for that? Like, I know you probably have a shot for that, right? Mm, like, but, like, Taurus going there. Oh, Taurus might have to take a shot before going there. Yeah. Hmm. Got to okay. check with your doctors for that to see, you know, especially if you're leaving and you want to pull up. Thank you, fevers out there. Should have caused protests and riots in other countries. Argentina has a diverse and vibrant landscape oh, okay. in towns enriched with culture and liveliness. Four. Paraguay. Paraguay, Uruguay. Ranking as the fourth best country in South America is Paraguay. It tops this list due to its clement weather and predictable yeah. climate. 
According to the Global Peace Index, Paraguayans don't have a lot of things to be worried about. Mm. For one thing, it's not a country often visited by tourists. Thus, many areas of its major cities haven't caught the attention of criminals. The Paraguay soil is fertile, okay. which endows it with lush forests. Though it has comparatively few mineral resources, the ones it has are among the most economically viable, such as clay, copper, limestone and petroleum. A good resource is its rivers well suited for hydroelectric projects. 5. Okay. Ecuador okay. Ranking the fifth best country in South America is Ecuador. In this country, whose name means equator, the majority of the crimes committed are non-violent. If tourists can feel relatively safe here, Ecuadorian can feel a lot safer. In okay. fact, there's a special police force saddled with the task of assisting tourists and travelers who don't feel at ease or landing. So what is non-violent what is non-violent crimes? Pickpocketing? Mm-hmm. Theft? Mainly theft. I mean sometimes. Leave your suitcase chilling, you won't find it again if you oh, turn it Oh, but I will be mad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> non violent <laughs> crimes. Um like, that's the most I could think about. Everything else comes off as too touchy. Yeah, that's cool. I mean no, not that ain't. really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not really. I'm saying. Um, that's crazy. I wouldn't... Uh, I, I, okay, boom. Everybody had these little things about themselves where they do these criminal acts and whatnot. But, um, yeah. Who I mean, got that about themselves? Everywhere. It's somewhere. Oh, everywhere. You said everybody. I did? I think. Ugh. Okay. Well, it's, it's not everybody, early. but it's... It's too early. I'm here. Locations around the world all have these people yeah. that will do these things to you. It's a time and a season for everything. So, and, um... What I'm loving so far about these countries, I'm loving the architecture. Now, I'm not really well-versed on, like, oh, the French did this, the Spanish did this. I'm, I'm not really, you know, well-versed on that, but I'm loving the architecture. Yeah, it's getting more colorful to me. Yes. The buildings are definitely starting to pop more, mm -hmm. you know? In any kind of trouble. Despite nice and good things about oh, Ecuador, it, it can't gotcha. be among the... In fact, there's a special police force saddled with the task of assisting tourists and travelers who don't feel at ease or land in any kind of trouble. Despite nice and good things about Ecuador, it can't be among the best four because of certain health Ooh, risks. Food poisoning and unsafe water are common in this country. Ooh, that's a bad well, combination. Ecuadorian borders, especially with bad Colombia, aren't very safe. Okay. Six, Bye. Bolivia. Yes, Bolivia isn't a bad country in South America. Unfortunately, it can find itself only in the sixth position due to its economic situation. Poverty in Bolivia has made it more dangerous. ATM-related crimes are more common in Bolivia than in many South American countries. Mm. Nevertheless, though, it's one of the poorer countries on the continent. To some extent, Bolivia is tourist-friendly. Even Bolivia's Yungas Road, popularly called the Death Road, has improved. It's, it's no longer the scariest place to drive. Bro, that, that's a that's a wild name to name a road, bro. It's like it's not it's not a back road we could take instead of the death <laughs> road. We we good with back roads. Hey, one hundred percent. Child, I will get out and walk. Okay, I am not driving See, on that. The sun gonna fall before you get where you going. Well, baby, we just ain't gonna go. Because that's not the one. No, ain't no railing. No. Like you can look at this curve right here. This dip, this steep spot. There ain't no railing on that. Mm -mm. Not gonna do it. This ranks Bolivia as high as being in the sixth position. The only challenge for visitors is the altitude, especially in the capital, La Paz, which is 11,942 feet above sea level. Seven, Peru. The first of the countries in the last half is Peru. Though it's popular with tourists, don't be surprised to find the country here. Peru has some serious concerns about security in certain parts of the country. For instance, there is a minimal police presence in the East Andes region. This freely allows illegal activities such as unregulated mining and drug dealing. Well, Muggins allows. are also a serious issue. You have to keep track of the personal effects such as passports and electronics. Nevertheless, adventure-seeking retirees will consider this country a nice place and those on a tight budget might be attracted by the Peruvian low cost of living. 8. Suriname Suriname. Suriname ranks this low, not because it's dangerous, but because it's among the least often visited countries. Thus, it's an ideal destination only for experienced tourists seeking an adventure. It's probably another very off-the-beaten-path destination. 
Consider the fact that Paramaribo, the country's capital and a mid-sized city, has a very limited support system for tourists. You really can't know what to do and who to call in case of danger or emergency. You may need to exercise extra caution at night. Suriname is a country almost mostly a tropical jungle. If you love that, good for you. But remember to prepare for mosquito-borne diseases such as malaria and yellow fever. 9. Brazil. Brazil. Mighty Brazil, a kind of giant in South America, can take only the ninth position. Though this country is likely the most popular in the region, it's been ranked the third lowest country in South America since 2018, according to the Global Peace Index. In spite of the influx of tourists, every year due to the availability of solid tourist infrastructure, major cities in the country have a lot of crimes such as snatch and grabs and robberies, posing real threats to both the residents and tourists. Even those living in favelas and other low-income neighbourhoods in cities like Rio are at a higher risk of becoming a victim of a crime. 10. Guyana This number 10 spot is befitting Guyana in the northeastern part of South America. This is the often forgotten country in the region. That's why it's not on the list of many travellers. This obscurity has exposed the country to several conflicting reports. You thus can't be sure of where to place it in rankings of South American cities. However, with little information available about Georgetown, the capital of Guyana, we can say your living there, albeit with extra caution, will be rewarded. The caution mentioned is needed because recent reports show that armed robbery, assault or at least pickpocketing are not uncommon crimes there. 11. Colombia We can recommend the Colombian authorities for trying hard to bring the country out of the danger zone. Just two decades and a half ago, the country's first mention evoked the image of violence and drug trafficking. But now things are improving. The country is gaining more attention from the tourists and it's positioning itself as a fledgling destination for tech companies. Yet those issues still rear their heads now and then in the country. The country is still very corrupt with a high level of distrust in government. In recent years, there are hundreds of targeted killings that seem to be politically motivated. The country say, also appears that? to be breeding local terrorism. 12. Venezuela. Oh. Despite its long-time reputation me. as a naturally beautiful country... It's giving me French. I like Venezuela. I like the way it's looking as well. I mean, you know, because it, it, it reminds me, it's like... It reminds me more of Cali, like uh, parts of it with the where the housing is in the mountains. On the mountains, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why this video is just highlighting a lot of the architecture for me. It is. Um, and it's different. It is, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, I'm going to say some of my comments for the end, end okay. of the video. I think I got some I want to throw in there. Venezuela is at the bottom of the table, the very worst country in South America. <sighs> The culturally warmest country in South America has been very unfortunate to be struggling with a mismanaged economy. No thanks to the bad political leadership, the country has been inflicted with hyperinflation and corruption. These twin woes have done a great deal of crippling to the country and have plunged it to starvation and extreme unrest. Now the country is witnessing a mass exodus of its citizens. The crime rate has subsequently increased drastically such that many countries place Venezuela on the blacklist for tourism. While you may see a different ranking of South American countries than these, this... Hey, yeah, we're going to stop right there, man. Um, yeah, so I was just thinking out, you know, to myself that, of course, people want to go where they're, you know, appreciated, loved, and want to have fun. They don't want to have to worry about, you know, crimes. All right. That is highly normal. I expect people to want to have fun and not worry about crimes. But for people who are, like, living in these countries and they don't have a lot of tourism, like he was mentioning, I believe there's one person out there who can consider saying, I'm going to create a website... Um, because I know the city really well, or I know the country really well, and mm -hmm. I can, you know, help you venture through it. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do yeah. is sign up here and just do this type of paperwork and you can get yourself a nice little, you know, gig that, going on. Th that's nice. I mean, if they can ensure safety, but I... Yeah, 100%. I think, that's, I I think that's a lot of stuff that can come with it if you put yeah. your ducks in a row. Yeah. But just the tipping of the cattle can start there and, you know, you can... That'd be yeah. fine. Because yeah. I feel like, of course, you bring tourism around, it's going to help people have a love for it. But you got to take them to the locations that they can feel comfortable in. Mm -hmm. Especially if you have a high crime rate or there's these things that's like this guy was saying. 
about the country that you don't want to have to deal with. Right. Countries can benefit from tourism. 100%. Like, you speak real. a lot about that. They really, really can because people want to know how other cultures are and yep. how people live in other countries. Yep, yep. And they want the to food. enjoy the things that the people have, the food. The festivals, you know, the, food, you know, the history, first. museums, 100%. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, especially because of the shared history. Yeah. That we have, you know. The parallel effect. Yeah, like people want to know things about that. Yeah. Um, a little shady. <laughs> Very shady. Uh, but, you know, every country has good and bad things about it. Facts, yeah. No country is excluded. None. None. Okay, so that was that. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.